this book has changed my life. Oh, Joey. It doesn't happen often. No. I'm lucky enough thank to meet you. amazing people, but thank you for coming. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's Dive a pleasure. Dive right in. Two weeks that changed your life, the first 10 pages of this book. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, three things. So I turned 65, first of all, which is a big thing. Um, I, now I discounted at movie theaters, yay. But it was a shock to be suddenly in that demographic, out of the 64 and under, where we're all part of the real mainstream. Uh, my mom passed away a couple of years ago she had a long and beautiful life and she died peacefully and my sisters and I were all together but after she died I just felt untethered I felt oh my gosh I'm now I'm the elder there's nobody that loves will ever love me as much as mommy did and who will watch out for me and think about me and, and I think we all think that and then she was gone there was many years though that mom wasn't well not not physically she just lost her her zest for life so this was a response to that to figure out, well, how can we change it so that we have a wonderful, vibrant life? And you were sparked by Game of Thrones? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I got sort of offended, as we all should, that men are so many things in the Game of Thrones, and women are, are maidens, mothers, and crones, <laughs> right. as we pass through our, from our childbearing into our haggishness. But uh, and that's changed now. <laughs> totally. And, and I, I'll embrace crone, being a crone. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, you make crone fabulous. I love the way you edit your bucket list because uh -huh. you went okay so I'm not going to own a bakery in France no our right? little bookshop in England no. and I won't be a great actress but or an Olympic skier the other thing the other thing that happened to me was that I hurt my shoulder badly skiing about seven years ago uh, and it it, it is unst it's diagnosed as unstable and whether we can do surgery or not is still up in the air but it dislocates quite often so I'm suddenly I'm not skiing anymore Which is your favorite I'm thing? not doing the things I always used to do that gave me such pleasure and I thought is that part of the gradual disappearance that I saw my mom and her generation doing into old age is that getting physically disabled I live you know a lot of pain but it hasn't stopped me it hasn't at all except it's changed the things I can do right now I'm switching gears you're gonna go deeper into this book on that topic on so many topics uh -huh. I really resonated personally at 47 with the inability to clean out my boxes in my basement. Oh, that held me in such a grip. Because I'm worried about having to choose what to throw away and what to not throw away, but you had some very profound pieces oh, in your basement. My, my issue was a part of my mental, my grieving and letting go of my son is because I, I had to face the boxes in the basement. I, I, it was on the edge of hoarding, I thought, mm. and I'd seen that show once. Which Not I, anymore. Oh, no. Yeah. But I, I, we're all on the edge of hoarding, but we do accumulate so much stuff in our life. But I knew that in the boxes there was going to be a lot of memories of me uh, that would, would, would hurt me or, uh, you know, ignite once again the deep grief. So I just didn't do them, and, but then they became the weight on me. I didn't think I could move forward or anywhere because of the boxes. Ultimately, you did go in through the box? a couple of days. Just organized, gone, moved on. Keep the <laughs> best get rid of, of all, all the rest. rest take out three vases that you have take the best one the others even if the second best is is really nice no no you you have to let it all go as we get older we need less and less stuff here is the wedding photo uh, <laughs> of uh, you and your Aww. husband Pierre yes. your first husband yes. at a time where you're very much a flower child let's go on to Andy <laughs> Warhol a very famous moment that you do reference in the book uh, you had some good times and and you've got a beautiful family. We've got the Christmas <laughs> card photo as well. Uh, what was this, 1970? I think it must have been 1976. Six? Yes, that was 1976. Right. With uh, the little a beautiful boys. family. And and you still speak about your your boys, your your daughters-in-law, your grandchildren, and how you want to be vibrant and and engaged, them, yeah. right? So we've only got two minutes left. Okay. But Nutrition quick. and rest oh. and being 65 three thing, and three ready. Three things you have to have in your life. I learned this from dealing with my bipolar. That the you have to get a good night's sleep. Number one, number one is sleep because that's when everything is restored and and your brain you're 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 given clarity again. Yes. Things are cleaned up. Uh, 
uh, exercise to be sleepy. Right? <laughs> That's what my doctor says. That's why Agreed. we exercise well to be fit and and, and newer, nourish your brain as well. Don't just think of eating for anything. It's fuel. It's really important fuel to keep your cognitive functions going well. So, uh, and that means sort of taking sugar out of your diet. And that's bit. the hardest one. Right. Hardest one. But those three things really give you balance. You have to, um, I think, be active and not think old. You have to think young. You have to be ready. And you have to make new friends. I talk about that in the book as well as the importance of community and networks and girlfriends. I don't know what I'd do without my gang of girlfriends. I have one here Amen. in Vancouver that I just, I don't know how I'd get through my life without my friends that I can laugh with and, and enjoy and look at life. And you lose your friends gradually right. as you're out. As well, you're you now have two in Vancouver. Because <laughs> you can come and visit me anytime. <laughs> Thank you, Joey. Margaret Trudeau, changing your life with the book, The Time of Your Life. This is truly, uh, it's, it's educational. Oh, thank in choosing you. a vibrant and joyful future. Thank it is you. an absolute so pleasure to meet you. My pleasure to be here. This book is for Mother's Day people, trust me.